Um, hello, hello, my beautiful friends. Look at this absolutely gorgeous bag. Please stay tuned for this video because it's really, really different, but really, really inspirational. I hope you will enjoy it. Hello there, hello, hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel, it's Merta here. I just finished recording these gorgeous, gorgeous bags. We decorated some plain paper bags and I was thinking, Merta, but what if someone doesn't have stickers and washies and what if they really wish for some abstract, for something more arty, for like really heavy mixed media? What about those people? What about those artists, those crafters that really wish to get their fingers dirty, have some texture and happenings here. So yes, I'm gonna make this uh, paper bag a little different to the other uh, five. We are gonna start with the same base, but we're gonna do a little bit of more mixed media, a little bit more, um, how can I say, a little bit of more abstract, I'd say. That's the best word probably to describe it. I'm gonna have some stenciling as well with this. I don't know where is that coming from. I really cannot remember. I it's not nothing is written here there's no name uh, but it's a gorgeous gorgeous stencil i think maremi should make some beautiful snowflake stencil for next year maybe and um, so we have stencil we have uh, gesso or um whatever modeling paste whatever you have texture paste i also have been thinking to get uh, some thread let me have a look a little bit of thread and i'm just looking around looking what else i have here Okay, I have also found this uh, masking tape. I'm sure that many of you can have some. So what are we going to do? The plan is to actually not use the whole page as I've done here, but maybe a little bit differently. So how about we do a little bit of sticking it on on the page, on the paperback page. I keep on saying page, I'd say. Um, so let's stick this here, maybe somewhere along these there we go and we're gonna add a little bit of gesso I guess maybe like that or <laughs> as if it matters isn't it <laughs> as if it matters actually look we can just go a little bit of a little bit of maybe a little bit of different way of doing things why not and maybe a little here why not I love that. And now let's get our tape. So here it is. <clears throat> We're going to have it like kind of going in the similar direction as our um, collage elements here. There we go. Something else. I like that color of the tape. It's white. I like that. I like that. Oh, he needs a paper himself, is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, is he drawing? No. What, uh, did he draw already something for you? No, no. I saw something green on your pa on your book, on your page. You can, you can give me a paper. You okay, like okay, uh, I like that. I'll do that. Two seconds, let me just finish this here, and I'm going to get you the actual paper. Hmm, where is it? How about this one, Hannah? Oh, yeah. Look. I can have it. There you go. You can use that. Okay, so next step will be to add a little bit of texture and a little bit of maybe this thread. Why not? So on top of that, we have some thread. I have gray and I have white. Why not? I think it can be so very nice as well and interesting. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to have some bit of that there we go a little bit of that and I'm purposely using um, my um, spatula not a brush because I really think spatula is giving us less controlled way of seeing things so I like that okay there we go. How gorgeous is that? And now, next step, of course, it's going to be the actual, the actual snowflakes. This is going to be 
gorgeous so and I'm purposely as you can oops as you can tell I'm purposely having my snowflakes outside the design a lot making sure that it's a lot of there because it's gonna be way more better visible so let's see mm -hmm. super that is gorgeous now I could have done better but I've been over <laughs> over going too much with my paste that's okay that's okay Marta it's not as sharp as it could be but that's fine now let's see here super I love this I'm gonna wash this and I'll be right back back to you I have also these papers that I purchased in the scrapbook um, I really like them I don't think they're super easy to use because you'll be like thinking how can I use it but when you really think about it they are so very pretty and there are ways to use it and today we're gonna try to <laughs> oh this is absolutely gorgeous so I was thinking to either use this one let me just have it out this one here or the fox one I, but not this one I thought the fox one from Dum -dum -dum -dum. <laughs> I was thinking where are you oh this one I thought this or this I think I'm gonna go for the more traditional because it's bigger as well so it will match no nicely as well I love that actually I also felt that it would be so nice to maybe go for some kind of something happening here this one is uh, um, yet again I'm trying to use things that I find around the house really try to use things that are very aged like this is a gift from my dad when I started my crafting journey that could be maybe seven eight years ago when he actually gave me the whole roll of these from his shop it's a gorgeous it's actually look it is actually uh, with the wire inside it's a beautiful beautiful absolutely a uh, beautiful one uh, but I do you know I have it I was like I and I was just not using it so I think it's a just time to do it to use it so that's what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna just go around it like that something like this and maybe try to glue it down both of these sides then make a bow but that's just an experiment chat with you guys so we shall see let me just cut this now like that something like this and something like this and I was thinking yeah look at that and then a bow here I think it could be lovely so that's what I'm gonna do Hannah is very excited today because daddy is with her today because the past three days mommy was with her a lot uh, because daddy was very busy working with the um, with the paperwork for Maremi's small art so now she's very excited seeing daddy and having daddy so very much uh, with her so yeah <laughs> I have this awesome tool which is like, um, I got this as a gift from one of you. It's like a thing from, it's like this thing for the, um, for the facials or something. It's like this kind of, I don't know, um, what's the word? Uh, silicone brush, yeah, silicone brush. So we can also add some hot glue gun there. There we go, even here. Uh -huh. and it's time for soup now as well for Hannah <laughs> so they just made a soup I really like that I really like that of course we are gonna do 3d uh, for this one so we're gonna have a 3d foam so yes Hannah is super happy that he's drawing with her <laughs> he just finished all the horrible paperwork horrible I'm saying because we he really does like making these I don't either <laughs> Thankfully, he does it for me. I also have this absolutely gorgeous uh, chipboard from my store because I don't think I'm not too sure if they are, but they were in our store. Uh, I don't. Oh, I love this so very much. So imagine this now. <gasps> How gorgeous is that? That I didn't plan this to be so, so gorgeous. I'm not too sure if the bow will match now, but you know what? The best would be to make the bow. And then see if we can actually add it somewhere or anywhere at all. I like the rustic color of it that there is no color added. Like mixed media without sprays and tons of colors. You know, just today it's kind of like this roughy roughy look. And I like that, I have to say. 
So let's try to see. <laughs> Someone is so very happy. Someone is so very happy. Yeah, we have changed uh, the last two weeks. We have changed our routine. So Hannah has no more naps and it's changed our life completely. It changed and it helped so very much because the day is a little bit uh, shorter for hair and no nap. And also she's more tired going to bed. So she's falling asleep faster. Uh, she does wake up now in the night. Maybe because of that, I don't know, maybe that change. But, ho but tonight she didn't wake up for the first time since two weeks she didn't wake up. So maybe that was a jet lag and change for her and all but it's so good that things are improving because uh, she was going so very late to bed and at some point it was good but I started to feeling that no it's just not okay anymore I really wish my life to be kind of normal in terms of time wise oh I think we can still add this guys look at this it's absolutely gorgeous so I really wanted to have evenings with my husband and you know having said that kids are everything for us like of course and there's no doubt about that but still it's so very nice to be able to have your evening oops, earlier than 12 p.m. <laughs> literally I'm sorry we have I have done a little bit of wrong lighting for you I think I don't know if it's and the better but certainly it was very into your face it, too light too bright I you see I have different light for taking photos and I have different like for light for recording so I sometimes I just forget to change it now Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Hannah's favorite it's Peppa Pig and Paw Patrol these days <clears throat> I think that's too short so I may just do this one bow and five minutes of chats <laughs> Marta, come on, just just go for it. I don't like that this is so very much uneven, but, but that's okay, as in these ends. But do you know what, Marta, just, that's fine. Like, who's going to look at it if it's even or not, except yourself? Okay, I like that. I like this. Uh-huh. I love it. Wow. It is taking a little bit too much uh, of from my... Those chipboards are just so gorgeous. I'm just thinking that maybe without those chipboards would be even better. I don't know. You tell me, guys. I'm all ears now. Oh wow, it's gorgeous without those chipboards, just like that. Maybe we'll do page. Maybe we'll do bag number two, and we will use those chipboards. But I just, I just love them so much. I just feel that they're adding this extra touch to it. I don't know why. But I, I really do feel this. I really do feel this. I'm just looking around if I have any more. Or maybe I have some smaller chipboards that I could possibly use it for. Oh, I have some snowflake. Uh -huh. Hello. Hmm. I have snowflake. I'm just gonna have a look if <laughs> I've got wooden snowflake, Hannah. Of course, there you go. Yeah, it's this. Whoa. You like it? Yeah. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And what you're doing? I'm stamping. Are you stamping? Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, how about this? I like that. It's a little bit quirky, very strange, but I think it's kind of adding up to the actual chipboards here that it's like, I don't know, mm -hmm. two seconds. Let me just have one more idea, okay? Let me just check one more idea, and I know what you're going to say, but I'm, I need to check this out. What if? We have half of that, or more than half of that, like this. Or if it's a little bit too much. <gasps> I love this. I'm going. I'm gonna go for that. I am gonna go for that. And I'm going to hide this bag and give it to Emily for Christmas. She'll appreciate it. <laughs> Not that others don't, it's just 
how I'm gonna actually attach you know what I'm just gonna attach it without going around it hopefully this will just do uh, I'm gonna make this a little bit more straight uh -huh, right here Wow I really like it I really love it actually the red one there Do you know what? It's actually, actually very much, um, um, like, I, I don't think I would normally waste so much, uh, you would think you would normally not waste so much of your, of your, um, of your, um, I'm sorry for lack of my English, sometimes my brain is just this. Uh, you wouldn't waste, use so much of the, of this, <laughs> but then, don't you think you have so many in your stash? I'm talking to crafters who are really into crafts and that I really have tons of those... Um, what's that word? In Polish it's called Wstążka, uh, Tasiemka... Um, yeah, Wstążka, Tasiemka. You have tons of Tasiemka, tons of Wstążka. So I would say that why not to use it even go a little bit crazy in terms of... Um, yeah using a lot of it and thinking yeah I at least used it it's not lying down lying around on my in my studio at least I have used it exactly and you know what even if this will actually stick out a little bit wouldn't that be so cute if this will just actually stick out yeah the top part and top part now where's the glue gun that my dear husband bought it for me? Okay, not glue gun, the hot, the glues, I have them. I need to test them out because he's been asking me recently if I have tried them and I didn't. So now I feel, see that one is finishing so I may need one. So there we go. I think it's going to be absolutely stunning, sensational. Uh, yeah, I love it. And you know what? Exactly this. It does not have to uh, be like... It. I like the floppy flops. I don't know if you can see that. It's like this a little bit floppy flops. Like a little bit. Look. Like a little... Like... You can't see that. Oh, you can. I think it's actually adding up to the project. So yes, sometimes from no plan to spectacular feel about something. That's how I feel, quite spectacular about this glue is a little bit thinner, Lucas, but it does work. It's strange, it's a little thinner, but we shall see next next go. Uh, uh -huh. Super. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I am actually <laughs> speechless. One more thing I'm thinking, just to see. What happened? What? What did you say? There's a snake? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Where? Oh, daddy is coming. Is that a snake? Is daddy pretending to be a snake? Oh, I love this one so much. I know it's not very mixed media, but I love it, love it, love it. Are you okay, Hannah? Yeah. <laughs> daddy is pretending to be a snake. Now you have to help me out. Do we need this one? Oh my, I love it so much. This is a little bit, this is not my style, but I love it so much. I, I know I take, I, I, I hidden a lot of, um, the plan have changed. I hidden a lot of this texture paste, but I, I love it. I really don't regret it. it. Like here, oh, it's like a bubble. Wait, it's like a bubble ornament. Look, instead of on top, it's actually on the bottom part, I, underneath it. <gasps> this is so cool now. Oh wow, I love it. Even more. Look. That's it. That's it. We have it. We absolutely have it. Oh, I'm so loving it. Wow. This is probably the most surprising project, Christmas project I've done this year. Definitely, this is the most surprising at overall, like it's wow. Nice party. 
Where's that tree? Uh, where's that tree? I'm just looking where is that um, top be because it's gonna be he like here in the middle. Daddy, what you finding? Daddy, what you finding? Okay, now we're talking. I love this so much. I cannot believe it, it's so pretty. I'm gonna up high it a little bit because I don't want this to be ha hidden too much. And it's so gorgeous. So, okay, we need to add some glue here. It's not gonna be the, more, the most pretty when there's glue around it, but I don't mind because it will hold kind of good. I hope to get rid of those webs when everything is glued down. Wow. Oh my, 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 my. Oh my, 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 my. I love this so much. I hope I'm recording still. I am. <gasps> I'm glad I am. I love it. You know what? You can't even see the glue underneath it. Except those webby webs, which are okay because I can cl clean them off. Um, like now. Wow! This is stunning. You have to tell me. You have to leave me a comment. Promise me to leave me a comment and let me know what you think because I just love it. Lucas, look at that. What you think? He's shaking his hand with disapproval. <laughs> like, whatever, woman. <laughs> what you're asking me? Like, I'm playing snake with the baby. Oh my, this is the most beautiful uh, Christmas project this year I've seen. And I'm sorry I'm saying this about my own project. Call me, uh, one thing we have to change. Call me uh, that I am wrong in my thinking about myself. But I've seen quite a, la a large, uh, obviously I do see a lot of crafts. I've seen gorgeous decoupage ornaments, which I'm hugely inspired by. I've seen, um, yeah, I've seen actually quite a lot of these. I didn't watch the process because I hope to maybe uh, make my own ornaments like that, so I don't want to get too much inspired. But I've seen gorgeous, gorgeous decoupage ornaments. So this, this caught my eye this year. And that's kind of it, <laughs> I have to say. Um, and now this is just something that is honestly so beautiful. And I'm not saying because it's mine. I just feel that this bow makes the whole difference. I'm gonna just add uh, just the white here because it's just lacking the white here. What happened, Anna? So it's like, you know, so it's white on all. Yeah, per perfect. Far better now, isn't it? Are you okay, Hannah? Yeah. Is snake running after you? <gasps> Is the snakey snake running after Hannah? Yeah. <gasps> Oh no, hide. I'm gonna hide, help you to hide. I'll help you. Shh, you can't be... Okay, you say nothing. We have to hide you. So now I'm thinking I have also string. I wanted to add string, but n I don't see there's any point. The other, the only thing is that maybe, maybe, baby, we could add a little bit of red. I'll show you what I mean by that. I have brown and I have red. Oh, what about here? The poisenta thing. Hannah is recently calling us Dadiska, Mamiska, from Emily, of course. <gasps> now that is, that, that, that is gorgeous. That is a project being made as well, thanks to these little fellas. Oh my, 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 my. I am actually speechless right now. Look at that. I cannot believe it. I'm going to redo them and glue down uh, a little bit of the actual uh, hot glue underneath it. Not only the sticker part. Oh, no way. You have the snake. You have it. Good. You have to tell me what you think. Wow! 
I love it. It's like this ornament. How inspirational is this now? Now, if you don't have this kind of, obviously you probably don't have it because we don't have the same things. But instead of, you can use paper here. Like imagine a paper. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is my number one this year project for Christmas, I think. I, I cannot wait to hear what you think. It started so very much differently and it turned into something completely, completely different. And um, sorry for the noise, it's of Hannah. But that's the play for the, uh, playing being daddy a snake. Daddy is a dadiska. Dadiska mamiska. Emily called it me uh, some time ago. She was calling me mamiska, dadiska. Um, no, she was calling mamiska. And then Hannah started calling me mamiska. And now she's calling dadiska as well. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up with that. I'm so very happy about this project. I absolutely love it. I think it's sensational. And as I said, it is going to be my number one project for this year for Christmas because of its simplicity, because of using what I have, because of using uh, the actual um, stringy thing, the 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 the, the stonska from years back, and that's exactly what we should do. Use what you have, guys. Combine with new projects, products like this is brand new, but combine with things that you have for long, and use maybe like a paper bag or a newspaper bag. You can make. Look, I have a paper bag here that it's made from newspaper. I, uh, I have some more bags because I'm planning to do something, but you can make bags like this even from newspaper and just decorate it, do things with it. Sky is the limit, so I'm gonna wrap up at that. <laughs> Thank you so very much. I cannot wait to hear what you think. I cannot wait to hear your opinion of it because I'm in pure love with that to the point that I'm thinking I should redo that like three times more, four times more and really like give presents in these so so very pretty uh yeah wow <laughs> they are still here playing snake under my desk so <laughs> okay guys till the next time i'm gonna wrap up here um wishing you a beautiful day hoping that you are safe and healthy please mind yourself and your loved ones because that's the main thing these days enjoy this festive season don't forget to come into my youtube channel because i have some surprise for you coming very very soon and still this year and um, i'm working on a secret project for you that will happen just after christmas i think just after christmas either way keep on checking the channel because some surprises are on the way thank you so very much i love you but i have to go till the next time happy christmas crafting and I'll chat bye. to you super very soon. <laughs> bye! Bye! <laughs> bye bye!